EXP Realty 2022. If you're considering joining this life-changing, exponentially growing brokerage this year, I want to make sure that you've got the right information before you make a decision. Let's face it, I've seen so much fragmented, false, and misinformation out there about the brokerage, and it's a shame because so many people just simply don't know how things work here. So what I'm going to do is break it down for you, the 10 most common questions answered so that you've got the right information to make an educated decision. This brokerage has completely changed my life in the last two years that I've been here where I've been able to break multiple records at the company and I want to again talk to you from experience so that you've got the right information the first time. So without further ado, let's dive into it. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sherrod. Thanks so much for tuning in as always and if you do get any value, just smash that like button for me and uh, drop any questions that you might have because I'm going to make sure that you get every answer even if it's not one of the 10 that we're talking about. And if you do want to book a private one-on-one -on -one call with me on Zoom in order to talk about anything specific to you in a private setting, click the link in the description and you'll be able to go directly into my calendar. So let's get straight into these 10 common questions. Question number one, do you get local broker support at eXp? A lot of people know that this is a cloud-based brokerage and they make the assumption that if you choose a sponsor in a different state, province, or country, their concern is what's gonna happen to me if I have questions about local transactions. And the beautiful part about how eXp is set up is a couple different things. Number one, there's multiple brokers in every single market so you will always have the ability to get local support with your transactions if you're a new agent or if you're an experienced agent number two those brokers wear one hat when you see a lot of brokerages franchise brokerages which i won't name the problem is is that the brokers wear every hat they onboard new agents train new agents train all of the agents do marketing, branding, compliance, risk, transaction review, and everything. And this is why they don't have enough time to give proper support in many cases. Where the beautiful part about eXp is there's over 950 paid employees in the cloud that are taking care of all of that stuff that a broker usually shouldn't be doing, but has to at a traditional brokerage. So they are able to give you more undivided immediate attention. And what I also love is that they are compensated on salary, not through the agent's production, so they're always going to be unbiased to whether you're a top producer or a new agent, never closed a deal or done 100 deals. So the broker support at eXp is confirmed to be incredible. Question number two, is eXp Realty good for new real estate agents? This is one of the most common one. Over a third of the agents in my organization are new agents. And the craziest part is, is some of the wildest case studies are of those new agents. We've had new agents join me and do up to 87 deals in their first First year as a new agent in a new market where they didn't know anybody without prospecting, without spending any money on ads. So it's absolutely incredible. However, there's a couple things to know about eXp Realty for new real estate agents. And let's talk about the pros and cons. In terms of the cons to get that out of the way, when you look at most brokerages, when you join as a new agent, you get usually nothing. And it's basically, okay, pay your brokerage fee and figure it out. Good luck. And eXp is actually the opposite, where they actually give you too much in the beginning. So one of the things that we did with my group is we created a 90 day accelerator specific for new agents so that you can kind of ignore all of the clutter because the feedback that I've heard from people at other groups is that new agents are getting overwhelmed and they don't know where to start, don't know where to go, and they get a little bit flustered. So we just made sure to alleviate that pain point so that we point you on the right direction and you focus only on the things that you need to do. But that is something that some people face at eXp is getting too much, getting overwhelmed and not really knowing where to start. However, the pro of it is looking at the caliber of the training, the level of support, the opportunity to grow and get compensated more than you would at any other brokerage and being able to leverage an upline because a lot of people at eXp talk about the seven tiers below you. What they don't talk about is the seven tiers above you. And when you look at a traditional brokerage, you've got one layer of value and that means that your skill sets and education is going to be capped by that of which your broker has. So if your broker is not in the trenches and up to date with marketing, branding, social media, lead generation, modern strategies, well, you're unfortunately gonna go have to pay for that somewhere else, probably spend thousands of dollars. 
at EXP, the beautiful part about having seven tiers above you is that this is seven layers of value that usually all bring different skill sets to the table. So that way, if you look at my organization, for example, I specialize in marketing, branding, lead generation, social media, content, digital marketing, everything online the modern way. And I give all of that for free to every agent that partners with us. My sponsor is a master at real estate investing, building organizations, mindset, personal development. So you get all of his support for free. And then you keep going up the chain and each person brings something different to the table. So now you go from having one layer of value to seven layers of value as a new agent. Question number three, do you have to recruit? This is something that again, people just don't even think about. So let me break it down for you in a couple different ways. Number one, the answer is no. You can never attract a single agent to this brokerage and you can still, in most cases, based on the ICOM program, make more money here than you would at any other brokerage, even if you only focus on production. However, I want to explain something to you because this is something that, again, drives me crazy in terms of people thinking that agents at EXP just recruit. Let me explain something. If I'm at Remax and I have somebody hit me up on social media or a friend or family member, relative or something like that, and they say, hey, Mike, I just got my real estate license. Where do you think I should go? Well, if I'm at Remax, I'm gonna say Remax. If I'm at Coldwell Banker, I'm gonna say Coldwell Banker. If I'm at Compass, I'm gonna say Compass. Well, the only problem with that is that at any of those brokerages for doing the exact same thing, you're going to usually get zero dollars for doing it. At EXP, you're bringing people into a life-changing brokerage model with better training tools and support, with a bigger opportunity to grow, a security blanket for their family, an exit strategy for retirement, and you're able to get compensated for it doing the same thing you would do anywhere else. So no, you don't have to recruit, but yes, you're gonna be doing the same thing you would at any other brokerage. You're just gonna get a hell of a lot more for doing it. Question number four is a quirky one that for some reason I get, which is why would this benefit me? Because people are just looking and saying, okay, Mike, I don't care about revenue share. I don't care about the stock. How is this gonna benefit me? Well, if you look at it, for example, let's look at these trophies that are kind of hidden in the black right here um, at my past brokerage. Well, I put blood, sweat, and tears into becoming a top producer at my past brokerage and what I did I get? Trophies with my name on it, which looks decent in my YouTube background, but did nothing for my business. At EXP, if you do that and you hit certain production requirements and become an icon agent, then you get not only a trophy, but you also get your entire $16,000 cap back for free every single year in company stock. And I know people that now have a multi seven figure net worth entirely from their production, no agent attraction, just their production, whereas at any other brokerage, it would have nothing. And let me break down a few other things for you. Number one, the majority of agents I talk to say that they get into real estate to create wealth. Well, wealth requires four things, hence the wealth quadrant, duplication, equity ownership, passive residual income, multiple streams of income. This is the exact same reason why people get into real estate to invest into real estate because they wanna build a portfolio. Well, when you build a portfolio, you have duplication of doors, equity ownership and properties, passive residual income, multiple streams of income. So. At eXp, we have all four components of the wealth quadrant. At most traditional brokerages, you have none because you have one income stream that requires your time invested in creating it. So you get into real estate to create wealth, but you join a brokerage that doesn't allow you to create wealth. Why would you do that? And that's the beautiful part about eXp is just by the nature of being an agent here, you create wealth. Also, based on the nature of creating wealth with the revenue share as well, you have the ability to do two things. Number one, most people I talk to say their family is the most important thing in their life. It is for me. Well, if I was at a different brokerage and I pass away tomorrow, I would leave my family with whatever I've got today. At eXp, if I pass away, my family could inherit everything that I've built. Not just that, but you retain it so long as you maintain an active license. So if I wanted to retire at 50 at any other brokerage after spending 10, 20, 30 years into the business, my income goes to zero. At eXp, you retain your revenue share so long as you maintain an active license. So now you've got a security blanket for your loved ones and you've got an exit and retirement plan. Question number five, what are the fees? Let me break it down for you. Canada, United States, starting with the USA, $149 to start for your first month, which covers your first month's brokerage fee, your setup costs for KV Core, SkySlope, Morgan Stanley ShareWorks, the cloud, and the 50 hours of training a week. After that is $85 a month, that's it, that's all. 
per transaction, you've got a $25 broker review and $40 E&O or air emissions insurance fees which caps at $500 a year. And we're on an 80-20 split, $16,000 cap. Once you cap, you go to 100% commission. And then after you cap, you have a 250 per transaction, transactional fee. And if you do 20 deals after capping, you become an icon agent, get your $16,000 cap back for free and company stock. And then your transaction fee further reduces to $75. Let's talk about Canada. $199 to start because currency exchange, $139 per month for the brokerage fee. You've got a $29 per transaction broker review, only $17 air and emissions or E&O insurance, which caps at only $200. 80-20 split, $16,000 cap. Once you cap, you go to 100% commission with a $280 five per transaction fee. When you do 20 deals after capping, you become an icon agent, get that $16,000 cap back for free in company stock. And then it further reduces to the exact same as the United States, $75. Number six, branding. A lot of people have a gripe with eXp Realty's branding. And let's face it, I understand why. Maybe not the most luxurious, maybe not the most modern, but it is what it is. Let me explain why it's so incredible. One of the big problems with most brokerages is that they believe that the brokerage brand actually matters. And I'm sorry if this offends anybody. I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter. Your brokerage brand doesn't matter. Whether you're at eXp, Compass, Remax, Cobol, Sotheby, Century 21, doesn't matter your personal brand matters, you are your brand. And the beautiful part about eXp is they understand the power of a personal brand. So when you look at most franchise brokerages, they have insanely strict guidelines in terms of what you can use with their signage, how it has to look, how big everything has to be, using the primary focus is all about the brokerage. Well, the beautiful part about eXp is it's not like that. They give you incredible flexibility. So we've had people join my organization and I own a branding agency. So I've been able to design insanely luxury looking branding for signage, social media, business cards, flyers, everything to look way better than they had at luxury brokerages like Compass or Sotheby's. So this flexibility to focus on the personal brand is incredibly powerful because it's finally a brokerage that gets it. Number seven, is eXp Realty a pyramid scheme? This is probably gonna rub a couple people the wrong way, so let's dive into it. Let's look at a traditional franchise brokerage. I'm not gonna say any names, think about anyone with a brick and mortar office in your city, and let me explain how most of them are set up. At the top, you've got the ownership of the brokerage. Below that, you've got the international owners. So for example, the people that buy into X brokerage Canada. And then under them, you have the regional owners. So for example, the people that bought into X brokerage Alberta. And then under them, you've got the broker owners who are the people that, for example, opened X brokerage in your exact city in Calgary, for example. And then at the bottom, you've got the agents. So you've got a pyramid with the agents on the bottom. Well, let me explain something to you. In 2021, eXp gave over $120 million back to the agents. And guess where that money would have went at a traditional franchise brokerage to all of those middlemen, the international, regional and broker owners that bought into the company, not the agents at the bottom. So at eXp, let me explain how it's set up for you. You've got the ownership of the brokerage and then you've got the agents. Well, guess what? The brokerage is the majority owned by the agents. So we're more set up like a brick, whereas most franchise brokerages are actually set up more like a pyramid. So we can go back and forth about this all day. Yes, we have a seven tier system that allows us to get compensated through changing the lives of other agents. But when you look at the structure of the brokerage, you might want to consider which one is actually a pyramid. Number eight, no offices. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Let me explain. A couple different things. A lot of people think that eXp has no offices whatsoever. Well, that's not necessarily the case. eXp is not anti-office. They're just not office required because they actually, unlike most brokerages, understand where the future is going. Again, if you compare Uber, Taxi, Netflix, and Blockbuster, the ones that are disrupting are cloud-based, are virtual, not the brick and mortar. So they understand that. However, 
EXP does have a partnership with Regis offices, which there's multiple in almost every city, so you get free access to any Regis office in any market whenever you want. So you can have offices, that's not a problem. And also when you look at it, why do you even need one? The majority of top producing agents go to the office less than once a month. The majority of the agents that are at the office are the average or lower producers. And if you're at the average of the five people you surround yourself with, why do you wanna be around them? The top producers are out actually doing deals. And the majority of clients want to meet at a coffee shop, a bar, a restaurant, or their house. Even when I was at a past boutique brokerage in my local city, and they had the most incredible, modern, up-to-date brokerage with studios and beer on tap and everything, I went there with clients like three times. And it's only because they had beer on tap that younger clients wanted to go have a drink with me. Of course, they were legal age. But the point of the matter is that you don't need one. And you need to start thinking in the pattern of you don't need one because that in general is where the future of the business is going. Number nine, does your sponsor matter or should you choose somebody local? I am here to tell you that your sponsor at eXp is the biggest, most important, most game-changing decision that you have period. Again, I urge you before you make a decision to reach out to me, book a one-on-one -on -one private call with my calendar link that's in the description. But here is the thing. Your sponsor has the potential to be the one to change your life. When you look at it, different groups at eXp, all groups are not set up equal. Different ones have different value propositions. Different ones are invested at different levels. And your sponsor is going to be the most important decision that you have to make when joining this company. I cannot stress the importance of choosing the right sponsor. And the beautiful part is that they don't have to be local. When you look at eXp, it is a global opportunity, not just a local opportunity. My sponsor is in Plano, Texas on the complete opposite side of the continent. The beautiful part about choosing a sponsor at eXp is that you don't have to just choose from a selection of local options. You have the entire company to choose from so that you can choose the one that you think provides the most value to you, not the one that is just closest to you. And this again is a long-term partnership and you can see the reason why we've got such a massive success rate with agents to partner with us because if you actually see the systems, training tools, resources, and support that we built out for our group, it is like nothing ever done before. So again, I highly urge you to consider who you join at this company and to really think about how important this decision is because if you want to switch your sponsor at eXp, the only way you can do it is to leave the company for 180 days go to a different brokerage and then come back. So if you don't wanna disrupt your business and if you don't wanna you know, pay extra branding and marketing and redoing everything, then make sure you do some vetting beforehand. Last but not least, number 10, is it too late? I get this question all the time, people saying, Mike, is it too late to join eXp? You're at 76,000 agents or whatever we're at whenever you watch this video. And the answer is no, this is just getting started. And this is the beautiful part is because where we're at right now, we're at this really kind of sweet spot where eXp has sorted out all of the kinks and quirks and little bugs in the company, but it's still such a massive early adopter opportunity. So you're coming in when everything's fixed and it's still early. For example, the goal of the company is to get to over 500,000 agents in the next five to six years. So when you look at 76,000 agents to 500,000, it's insane. About 80% of licensed real estate agents are outside of North America. So when you start thinking about North America being saturated, we have the globe, but let's look at North America for example. There is almost as many agents at eXp licensed in Dallas, Texas, than there is in all of Canada. So when you start looking at this, this is just getting started and this is an incredible five, 10 year opportunity to completely change your life like it's done for me in just two short years. So again, if you have any other questions, drop a comment below. I will make sure all of them are answered for you so that you've got the right information when you're looking at exploring this incredible brokerage. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.